Minister, I want to thank you. As you know, we have announced that we have our site and we have our build in Carlow now. We have an old house that has been done up, um, working with Coon. We have the lead agency, which is uh, Amber's Women's Refuge. So you did go on KCLR, and I know I have you for the last few years. I absolutely had been on to you every few weeks about this Women's Refuge. It's a really good story for Carlow. Can I just ask you, Minister, you said 2025 would be the date that we would get this opened. So I'm keeping you to that. We're working very hard. I'm on the committee for this. And all I can say is it's important now that we get this up and running as soon as possible. At the moment, there's families leaving Carlow to go to other counties where children have to be taken out of school, <coughs> lose their friends because they're gone for a few months. So it's important now to get this women's refuge up and running in Carlow. And it is a good news story for Carlow. Thank you. Minister to conclude. Thank you, um, Deputies. I, I've said this many times and I'll say it again. I believe we're dealing with an epidemic and I think it's in every town, village and corner of our society. I think that more women are coming forward. And again, it's mainly women. There are men, of course, victims. It's a very positive thing um, and we need to be able to respond with the resources and the support. So it's not just about providing the refuge and accommodation, but it's those outreach services and supports as well. The funding in the last four years alone has gone from 20 million to 60 million and that is going directly while a small fraction last year was to establish and to set up Coo in our new agency. Uh, the vast majority of that money is going to deliver services, to expand services, to identify the needs for new services in new areas. And I have every intention in this this budget uh, in the next week to make sure that we can expand further. In terms of Carlo Kilkenny, that work will, or in terms of the Carlo uh, Refuge, that work will start next year. So obviously I want to see it completed uh, and concluded, but you yourself will see, and I suppose this has been the challenge in so many areas where we don't have a refuge. We're starting from the ground up. So the strategy has been to put in place a very clear structure that means whether you have a service on the ground or not, whether you have somebody that's committed to doing it or not, that the structure can be brought together to identify who will deliver the service, where can the site be, working with the local authority, how can it be rolled out, how can we get the funding in place and put the application in place. So that structure is now there and I think now that we've put it in place, it will actually allow for the acceleration of so many of the projects that are already underway. But again, I thank Deputy for their comments.